Dan Hegarty has defended Holly Willoughby and Philip Schofield after they were falsely accused of gu jumping to see the Queen lying in state. The Chase star took to her Twitter page to defend the presenting duo, explaining they were filming a segment for this morning not morning in their own private time. The 64-year-old wrote, My understanding is that Holly and Phil weren't in a VIP line, they were in a press line and about to do a piece to camera. She then went on to share a link to an article written about Holly and Phil where Anne said, You're all being extremely rude. This comes after Holly and Phil were accused of going to the front of the queue that the public had to queue hours for. Read more, split this morning fans threaten boycott over no queue jump Holly and Phil Queen film they were slammed after other celebrities like David Beckham and Susanna Reid were spotted in the public queue. However, ITV have since released a statement where they said the presenters went to Westminster Hall as they were filming for the show. The statement said, Hello everyone, we would like to clarify something. We asked Philip and Holly to be part of a film for this Tuesday's program. They did not jump the queue, have VIP access or file past the Queen lying in state, but instead were there in a professional capacity as part of the world's media to report on the event. Holly and Philip both wore all black outfits to Westminster Hall as they filmed for Tuesday's program. Holly. 41, also wore a face mask as she walked in front of her co-host Philip, 60, before they paid their respects to Her Majesty. In the absence of this morning being on air on Friday, the pair went to go and pay their respects using a separate entrance for journalists. Philip was seen wearing a black suit paired with a white shirt and black tie as he walked behind his co-star. Meanwhile, Holly wore a black dress with silver button detailing along the front. She tied her blonde hair back with a black scrunchie and wore a matching black mask. A night TV spokesperson said, This morning had press accreditation and like other media, Philip and Holly were escorted to work from the press gallery by government staff. They did not file past the Queen's coffin. They were there alongside a host of other broadcasters and national press outlets for an item that will be broadcast on Tuesday's show. Any allegations of improper behavior are categorically untrue. Queen Elizabeth II passed away aged 96 on Thursday 8th of September after reigning for 70 years. Keep up to date with our live blog on the Queen's funeral here.